Hello and welcome back to Gapey's Greenhouse. Today I'm going to go over some of the peppers here in the greenhouse. It's towards the end of September, so a lot of the garden is starting to die back and some of the peppers I think are done for the year. So over in the near the door I have all the sweet peppers. This was a yellow bell pepper and I'm not seeing any peppers on it right now. There's some flowers, but I don't think they're going to have time to produce any, so I'm probably going to be pulling that up here soon. And right behind it is an orange bell, and same here, I'm not seeing any peppers on it, just a few flowers, so that one's done for the year. And then this is my purple bell pepper, and we have actually one pepper here that's about ready to harvest, and a bunch of tiny peppers that I don't think are going to get big enough to harvest since it's been getting pretty cool at night and not very warm during the day. And then right behind here is what I thought was going to be a Cajun bell pepper. I saved some seeds from a pepper I got from a friend, but I didn't realize it until someone pointed it out that these are a hybrid. So on hybrids, you generally don't save the seeds because you don't know what you're going to get. And these look more like jalapenos and nothing like the Cajun bell. So I'm not going to save any seeds from that and I'll probably get rid of the seeds I saved last year. And then I have two ahi lemons. These are pretty tiny, probably the tiniest pepper I've ever grown. They're pretty, pretty hot, um, but also very sweet and fruity. And they don't really taste like lemons, in case you were wondering. I have another one in the back here. It, it's not as productive as the first one, but the peppers are do appear to be much larger than the other one. But they're starting to ripen up here. And then next I've got an El Oro de Ecuador. This is one I haven't harvested any peppers yet from. The peppers are about as big as they're supposed to get. And that's actually a little bit on the larger side, I think. But they should be starting to turn yellow any time now. I started this pepper the, the last one that I started, probably end of Febru February. So that's why it's taking a little bit longer to ripen. But it's very tall and has a lot of peppers, so I'm hoping it'll start ripening up soon. And then behind that, let's, let's go back here. I have one of my favorite peppers this year, is this orange jalapeno. I only see one on it right now but it gets a really big pepper. They're pretty sweet, not very hot, and they're great for stuffing. So I like to stuff those with goat cheese and cream cheese mixture. So I'll definitely be growing that one again. I saved a lot of seeds from that plant. Okay, and then we also have back here some Italian long hots. They're kind of buried back here, but they get, they turn red you can't really see it very well, but that one is starting to turn a dark red. Normally they get more of a bright red, but I'm not seeing any right now. So I think this one is almost done producing. You can harvest these when they're green or after they turn red, but that's a pretty spicy, spicy one. And then one of my more productive ones is this sugar rush peach. So the pods are start out really yellow, and then they'll turn peach. I have two of those plants. Let's see if I can find some peach ones back here. Let's go digging. So I have two of these. This is the back one here. So I've got some peach colored ones coming on on the back plant that you can see. So I'm going to be harvesting some of these for a chili that I'm working on. And then right next to it, I have what's called a Brazilian starfish. This is a really unique pepper. Um, it's very, it has very thick walls and it's kind of waxy. So I like to cook that um, and I'll be making some of that with my chili as well. But these, I probably picked over 200 of those peppers, but the plant is very viney. You can see how it's just taking over the greenhouse. So there's a lot of peppers and there's still a lot more that haven't turned ripe yet. So I think this one is going to keep producing for quite a while. 
and then we start getting into the really hot peppers. Down here is the chocolate habanero. Let's see if we can find some here. So there's some here, a nice dark brown, and I, I made hot sauce out of those and also put some in my salsa. So I only have one of those. And then right behind it is my only pepper plant that hasn't produced any peppers at all. This was a Carolina Reaper. And there's tons of flowers, but the flowers have just been dropping and not producing any peppers. And the starts um, that I gave to some friends are also doing the same thing. So I'm not sure what's going on with that one. I thought it might be the soil in the greenhouse, but since other people are also having that problem, it's probably not the soil in the greenhouse. But I might try those again next year, even though I'm not sure what I'll do with a pepper that extremely hot. That's one of the, probably the hottest pepper in the world. So that would definitely go into hot sauce, I'm sure. Okay, and then next we have two Jay's Peach Ghost Scorpions. These are uh, an extremely hot pepper also, not quite as hot as the Carolina Reaper, but I've only harvested two of these. There are a lot more peppers on the plant, but um, they need to turn peach before I harvest them. So I'm just waiting. And actually, I think I see one way back here that's turning peach. You see it back there? It's not quite ready. It looks like it's just starting to turn peach. So that's that's all I have in the greenhouse for peppers. So I'll be taking out those sweet peppers here and making room for my winter garden of greens. And I'll leave the hot peppers in for a, a little while longer. Thanks for joining me and I'll talk to you again soon.